Good morning. It's Windjammer. Or maybe on this trip you can call me Bronco. <laughs> I'm at the um, Maroon Bells Trailhead outside of Aspen, Colorado. About to start a two-night backpacking trip. It's 6.40 in the morning. And uh, there are thunderstorms coming in around lunch. So I'm going to get started. Because I'm going to try to get over Buckskin Pass and down to a campsite before those uh before those storms get in so i'm gonna get rolling we'll see you on the trail how about that for an entrance this is obviously just the beginning of the trail and uh it's maroon lake some incredible views i'm just a few steps away from the parking lot Pretty incredible. Just dead center there. That's where I'm heading. Somewhere over that hill up into that mountain is Buckskin Pass. And it's four miles of straight up. But then it'll be four miles of heading down to get to a Snowmass Lake where I'll be camping for the night. And like I mentioned at the start of this, uh, moderate thunderstorms expected starting around lunchtime. So, it's only about 7.30 right now. So I need to get up and over that pass and down back below the trees by lunch, which I fully expect to be able to do. It's beautiful out here. All right, well, I'm just under two miles in and uh, this actually begins the loop. So I just reached Crater Lake and actually it got kind of flat there for a while, even declined. So um, after two nights, I will come back through this way after I complete the loop and head back the way I've come back to the car. But uh, for now, I will be starting the Maroon Snowmass Trail this way up to uh, Buckskin Pass. So we'll see Crater, Crater Lake in a couple days. But on this way and i imagine i got a little over two miles of this is where it's going to be straight all the way up there's a mountain up there <laughs> buckskin pass uh, there's a view from above crater lake but the big view here is that now that is what we call Stellar. Anyway, I really need to probably be picking up the pace here, and taking a lot of pictures and stuff. And uh, we got storms coming. Looks like some blue skies in there. Behind some of those clouds, but I'm definitely ready to get up and over this pass. I'm about a little over a mile away. I believe it's directly kind of straight, maybe. There's a beautiful creek flowing through here. Um, yeah, it's definitely beautiful country. But uh, I need to get up there and pass it. I'm gonna be feeling a whole lot better when that's uh, behind me.
There's the uh, pass. If you look really, really close, just below the snow, you can actually see the trail. And it cuts through there. Um, Moving slow. But it's like blue skies up there. So we're doing all right. I've made it to the next intersection. I will turn left and head up through Buckskin Pass. I don't know where Willow Pass goes. I'm sure there's tons of hiking trails up through here. But I'll be staying on the Florida Pass loop heading up that way. So, making progress. Slow progress, but progress nonetheless. And oh my God, look behind me. Jeez. Well, I'm not exactly moving at the pace I wanted to, but I'm getting there. <laughs> but in my defense, I was in Mississippi yesterday morning. Highest point in Mississippi, Woodall Mountain, just over 800 feet. <laughs> so, got to Colorado yesterday. I did sleep at elevation, just outside of uh, Aspen at a difficult campground. That's the name of it, not that it was hard by any means. But uh, yeah, so I'm definitely moving slow, but I imagine just with uh, each passing day out here, I'll get a little more acclimated and uh, my legs will get a little stronger and I'll be able to handle the altitude better. But uh, there might be an action shot coming of me crossing buckskin pass because this is this is the sound of music out here <laughs> yeah I thought about it I might be singing it later I'm still trying to make my way up buckskin pass it's 9 30 as you can see the trail winding around there's some backpackers up there near the top of it see by the snow there just gonna cut left through there. Okay, look at another right, right through dead center there. So I'm not too far away. Golly, like I said, it's 9:30. I'm moving slow, but I think this is the toughest climb. There are gonna be more hard climbs to come for sure. But day one, coming straight from Mississippi, longest climb. Yeah, it's a challenge. But, uh, and I'm rushed due to the thunderstorms coming in this afternoon gotta get past this and on down but uh anyway oh and all trails guys get together jeez it says four miles to the top of buckskin pass i'm already at five get out of here with that god do better that's irritating that's legitimately irritating anyway it's beautiful though So this is standing on the top of trail uh, Buckskin Pass. I made it. There's where I came from. And this is the other side of Buckskin Pass. <sighs> Absolutely gorgeous. I did meet a lady a second ago though that I was complaining about how tough it was on me. <laughs> and she said the next pass is actually the hardest trail rider. <laughs> so oh well there's a lake in the distance I believe that is Snowmass Lake where I shall be camping tonight 
But uh, time to book it downhill. Oh man, unbelievable. I'm just down from, about to get past a little ways, but this is just too pretty. That lake looks pretty over there. It's gonna be an exciting place to camp. One would say, I look forward to it. <laughs> uh, I still haven't started singing the sound of music, so that's that's at least a plus. But I've got two more days out here, including today. Oh, and today, I mean, three more days out here. Right. Just snow mass leash. Well, I'm back down amongst the trees. Little creek crossing. Oh, and use the log. Um, there's some few dark clouds kind of forming that way to the northwest, I guess maybe. And uh, but even those don't look super ominous. So um, it's about 10:30. So it's still time for the thunderstorms to come through as forecasted but uh i'm through the pass down amongst the trees doing pretty good and i tell you as hard as it is to go up one of those with all the climbing and stopping and just exhausting it's an equal amount of joy just flying down the backside. so you know life's about balance a little give a little go <laughs> Sun really popped up behind me. Hey. Beautiful little Colorado streams here. But I'm probably about a mile and a half to Snowmass Lake. And that's where I'll pitch my tent. So hopefully I might even beat any storms and get at least the tent up so I can get under there if it gets nasty. Sure yeah. Here we go. I actually thought I'd have to get my feet wet, but uh, it looks like I can cross. Handy. Almost reached Snowmass Lake, but I ran into an obstacle. I had some moose standing right on the trail. So I saw a little place over here that was a tent campsite. I'm gonna go hang out, let that moose find its own way. Well, as I was watching that moose turn and walk away, uh, she actually has a little baby with her. So that's a mama and, and a baby moose. So, there's a campsite right here. Um, I just came and I'm gonna sit for a little while, uh, get the pack off, drink some water, eat a snack. Um, just try to give them some time to clear off the trail. I'm still gonna try to get to the lake. I'm not far, but uh, I definitely don't wanna go rolling up on a mama moose with her little baby, so. So 11.20 now, chill for maybe 10 minutes or so, 15 minutes, then we'll see how things are looking.
Well, I got caught in the hailstorm. It just blew over pretty quick. And now I'm at Snowmass Lake. Don't know exactly where I'm gonna camp yet, so I'm trying to figure that part out. But uh, the lake is um, pretty beautiful. Here's my campsite. Got everything tucked away in there. I'm looking right out my door is uh, Mount Snowmass. As you can see there, I'll probably start hearing some thunder as the storms are coming. So hopefully that'll pass over quickly. Alright, well, I'm sitting in my tent waiting to see if it's going to come a huge storm or not. Let's check out the uh, route for today. So, I started from right over here, Maroon Lake. This is a terrible map, but it's all I got. So, today we hiked counterclockwise along this red line, up through Buckskin Pass, and down to where I'm camping now on Snowmass Lake. So that was today, it's about nine miles. Tomorrow's gonna be a shorter day. Um, but they said I gotta go over trail riders, so they said that's really hard. First thing in the morning, uh, if I'm rushing at all, will be to go up Trail Rider Pass, then come down into this valley where I have two different potential campsites I'm looking at. So I might push it on down to about right here. Either way, it's gonna be like five or six miles. Not that big a deal. And then the last day will be about 12 miles or so. Uh, 13 miles heading out but on that last day we'll cross two 14ers but they're kind of in quick succession not where you come up and down into a valley then come way back up again it's you know frigid air pop you come a little dip and then you hit West Monroe Mon Maroon and then down and that's a straight shot all downhill so um, that was today and that's the whole trip for the plan plan for the trip <laughs> and uh We'll see what happens with this thunderstorm. I hear the thunder. The wind's howling. Rain's coming down. <laughs> I think I'm gonna stay very cozy in my little tent. And not step out again tonight. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to day two. <laughs> Alfalfa of the woods. So I'm uh, just up from Snowmass Lake where I'm packed up and ready to roll. Sign beside me. I'll continue on the four pass loop to Geneva Lake and uh, Trail Rider Pass. So let's get the trail. Here's another view of Snowmass Lake, Ross camped yesterday. Um, really pretty view, looking at it from the top here. All of these mountains. So, today is going to be all up for the first few miles until I get to the top of a uh, Trail Rider Pass. And then it's going to be downhill into that basin and uh, find a spot to camp. So, overall, probably about six, seven miles a day. Nothing too crazy except for this beginning portion
somewhere up here is Trail Rider Pass. I'm not sure which. I thought there might be a little line in that snow right there, like a little trail, and maybe that gap might be Trail Rider. But I don't really see any trail or any. Oh, never mind. That's it right there. Straight ahead to that gap. I can actually see the trail now. Yep. So there is Trail Rider. Um, yeah. Cool. Not too far. I'm at the top of Trail Rider. <sighs> Too easy of a hike up, but uh, I made it. It's a little cold. A little cold. <laughs> but uh, this is the other side of the pass here. Obviously, another beautiful section. So, um, I actually kicked around the idea of maybe going ahead and doing Frigid and um, West Monroe and camping on the other side, but I don't know. We'll see how I feel once I find a campsite down here in this basin and what time it is and all that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful area. All right, there's a little intersection here. Got a couple different ways to go, it looks like. Um, that trail right there leads to Geneva Lake. This is the trail that just came down. It leads up to Trail Rider Pass, far in the distance to the left. So, cutoff trail. I believe that's the trail we need to keep taking. So, this away. This really is an incredible trail. Hard, super hard, but incredible. Look at that little valley down there. So, I should be finding a campsite down in there somewhere. Not this close though, maybe further in. that peak straight ahead is a uh, Monroe why do I keep calling it Monroe it's not Monroe it's maroon and if you look at it the colors maroon yeah. anyway that's a 14er but a dangerous one from what I understand I will not be trying to climb it today for sure
well that beautiful river I was filming. Um, I just had a cross. <laughs> Didn't know that was coming. Um, I would have filmed a little, but there were some people there that had just crossed and were taking a break on the other side. And plus the water was freezing cold. Came up to about my knees, so not particularly deep, but a wide little river. And wow, it's really cold on your legs. Looks like some storm clouds back there. Anyway, I'm walking through a very beautiful meadow. And I was also asking that guy about uh, distance back to the trailhead and all after I camp. And uh, where I was at just now was 13.8 miles from the very start. So I probably have another mile or so to go. So that's about right. Probably about. 12, 13 miles to do tomorrow. The bees, wilted bees. Well, here's the valley I just came from. It is pretty awesome. I almost camped in that bit of trees over there. I know there's a bunch of bit of trees, but looking straight at the waterfall. I was like, I'm gonna go ahead and get one more mile down. I'm glad I did, because I've been climbing up out of that valley ever since. And uh, it's nice to go ahead and knock that out. I still hadn't do that early in the morning when I already got those passes to come. So I'm actually on the approach up to Frigid Air Pass, the third mountain pass. I'm already down to Buckskin and Trail Rider. So, um, two more to go. But I've totally changed my idea about earlier. Ah, uh, you know, I might just go ahead and try to go for them. Heck no. I'm stopping soon. What's up, brother? How are you? you? Wanna say something to the camera? No? You wanna go ee ee? Aw, that was cute. Anyway, ah, more climbing up. I don't know how far away I am from my campsite. The one I'm aiming for, but it's definitely not far. It's been a slow day. Day. Quick tour of home for the night. Beautiful little creek flowing to my right here. Big old log to sit on. Perhaps even enjoy myself at fire tonight. Swing around over here. This is where I have my tent set up. Looking quite cozy. Then the coup de clock. The coup de clock? Whatever. Good thing I packed my old hammock up. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, got a little hammock going in the breeze here right by this creek. And I'm about to grab my book. I'm gonna sit in here, I'm gonna read, I'm gonna freaking relax for a little while. It's been a really hard two days. And uh, I'm gonna enjoy this campsite before another very difficult day three. So, very, very nice. All right, welcome to day three, last day on the four pass loop. I'm just a few steps down from camp, packed up and obviously rolling along. It's about 6.10, so I was able to get up and get on the trail pretty early because it's gonna be a long day. Um, beautiful little waterfall behind me. Uh, Pretty cold. Hopefully I'll heat up as I get rolling here. Got about two and a half miles of up. And then I'll cross Frigid Air Pass. And then 
shortly after that, I'll go up and over West Maroon Pass. I got it right that time. <laughs> no Monroe this time. And uh, then it's pretty much all downhill for the rest of the way. So I'll be anxious to get to that point. But I think I've been chatting up enough on this trip. Just enjoy some scenery and all that is a book it out of Dodge. The lake in the uh, clip a second ago was this one right here, Crater Lake, which means I'm almost to the junction to where I started a few days ago. And then it's right on down back to the trailhead. So I think that'll be it for this and I'll recap at the car. All right, that is officially a wrap on the Maroon Bells snow mass. Full pass. And it was beautiful. It was areas that were absolutely just draw dropping stunning. But that was the hardest hike I think I've ever done. Like I am totally gassed. I'm whooped. Um I need to go get food and a shower. Hot food, hot shower, and a... No. Two out of three is not bad. <laughs> anyway, um, I need to get out of here. Great trip. My GPS said closer to 30 miles than 25, but, you know, truth is probably in the middle somewhere. And uh, it was awesome. I'm tired. It was awesome. All right.
Time to get going so I can get some things and start feeling better. Windjammer is out. <laughs>